This video will demonstrate how to use the extruder to make coils. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do um, when we're making coils um, is we're going to wedge some clay. So we have some buckets of clay that's been our scraps. So I've been collecting the scrap clay um, from your other projects um, and I've been reviving that clay in a bucket. Um, when you're ready for the clay, you'll come see me, um, but I have my bucket right here. So I'm going to take out some clay um, and I'm going to show you how to wedge. All right, so um, let me bring this a little bit closer so you can see. So right now, this is um, all a mess, all right? So the little pieces of clay that we like broke up um, are now nice and plastic. So we need to get this clay back into a workable state. And we can't really do too much with this at the moment um, because um, there's a lot of air pockets in the clay. And just a reminder that if there's trapped air in the clay, there's a chance that that, that um, air is gonna poof out of the um, clay during the firing process um, and parts of your, your project can fall apart. So we wanna make sure we're wedging pretty well. Um, whenever you're wedging, you wanna make sure you're wedging on your mat, um, not directly on the table because the clay will stick to the table. You should also be standing when you're wedging. Um, you get a little bit better pressure, a better angle um, for wedging. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of squish um, this clay um, so that it'll hold its shape pretty well, okay? And then for wedging, you're basically gonna wrap your hands around the clay and you're gonna push down and away from you, okay? And then you're gonna pull the clay up. It might stick to your mat a little bit, so you're gonna wanna push that back down. Grab it again. Again, push down and away from you. And then as you've repeat this process, it's a good idea to turn the clay occasionally down and away from you. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster and I'm gonna wedge this until, probably for about 30 seconds to a minute or until the clay feels like there's no more air pockets. Um, one other thing really quickly, you're gonna see that the clay is gonna almost look like it's starting to wrap around itself and you can almost see um, like the layers. That's kind of what we're going for. So um, we're just gonna keep that process going, keep compressing that clay on top of each other to get um, all those clay particles mixed together. My clay looks like it's been wedged pretty well, and if I look at it from the side, um, you can kind of see how many times I've gone around. Um, so the next thing that I want to do, so our the extruder that I'm going to show you here in a minute is cylinder shaped. Okay, so I want to turn this clay into more of a cylinder that'll fit in the extruder. So to do that, I'm just going to kind of drop the clay on the table and like keep turning it until I get it to be um, a good size and shape for my extruder. So that looks pretty good. I also want to look at my, my edges here and I might just compress that a little bit better just so that there's no air pockets. Okay, so at this point, this hunk of clay here is ready for the extruder. I'm gonna change my camera angle um, to show you the extruder and how to pull the clay through it. Okay, so this is the extruder. Um, I'm gonna go over the different parts to the extruder before I show you how to use it. When you come into the classroom, it should look like it does right now. 
Um, so this cylinder right here, this part is where the clay is going to go into. At the bottom um, is where the die cut pieces go. So um, I'm just going to undo this. So this just kind of snaps into place. It just twists on. And then there is a metal disc in here that has some circles um, that have been cut through, and we call that a die cut. Um, the extruder is going to force the clay through um, these holes to give us coils, and that just sits right inside of here. So if you ever have to take this apart, maybe to clean it, or if something gets stuck, um, this will just set right inside like that. Okay, and then this just attaches to these um, little bolts that are sticking off the side. And you do want to make sure that this is attached well before you try to put clay in it, um, or the clay is just going to push that right off onto the floor. Okay, so a couple other parts. Um, this right here is the handle. Okay, so this is the handle that we'll use. Um, and this is the plunger part, and I'm noticing that there's some dried clay on there, so I'm going to get that off um, before I use this. Um, it is a good idea to check for bone dry clay on the extruder before you use it. Um, if something didn't get cleaned up well, you'll want to take the time to get um, the dried clay off before you ruin your, your actual clay that you're going to put in there, okay? So um, this is the plunger part. That part is what is going to go down into the cylinder, and I'll show you here in a minute, to push the clay down through those die cut holes, all right? And then um, up here is the locking me mechanism, and this is going to be important because um, it's going to help us to lower the level, okay? Or, I'm sorry, the, le the lever. So I'm going to put this handle back down. I'm going to grab my clay that I have wedged. All right, so I have my clay. Um, I'm just going to double check, make sure there aren't too many like surface cracks that might cause air pockets later. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. I also want to make sure that it's going to fit inside the extruder. So hopefully you can see that this will fit. So I'm just going to carefully drop that down into the extruder. And then I'm going to bring my handle around. So this turns, all right, so I'm going to turn the handle so that it is over the opening of the um, canister for the clay. And then this lo um, locking mechanism up here, let's see if I turn it a little bit. If it's up, okay, um, the lever won't go down. So before we start, we've got to turn this so that the handle part is pointing downward and not upward, okay? So now I'm going to line this part up. I'm just going to slowly lower this down into the canister where the clay is. And I'm going to bring that down until it stops on its own. At this point, we're using this almost like a garden well, if you've ever seen like a, a pump that pumps water out of the ground. Um, so you're going to go up, down, up, down, and then once that plunger hits the clay, you're going to feel a little bit of tension, and you're going to go back up, down, back up, and then down, okay? So at this point, you should see that I have some coils that are starting to come out the bottom. All right, now I didn't give myself too much clay to demo with, so my coils are pretty small. Um, but the more clay we um, get built up in here, the coils are going to get a little bit longer. Um, be careful that they don't get too long. Um, we don't want them to fall on the ground. Um, at this point, um, oh, one other thing, if there happens to be air bubbles in the clay when you put it through the extruder, you might hear a popping, like pop, pop, pop. That's just um, the pressure of the extruder pushing the air out of the clay. Don't worry too much about it, but um, like I can see right here that I had an air, an air bubble, so let me pull this one off. So when you're done, you're just going to kind of pull these off. Um, and I want to bring this over for you to see a little bit better. So right there I have an air pocket. You can see where the extruder kind of pushed that through. Um, as long as this coil isn't breaking in half, 
I can still use this. Um, I'll just make sure that when I'm slipping and scoring that I take care of that air bubble and make sure that I don't trap air, um, any air in there. I can just kind of score around it, okay? Um, at this point then, so you can take all of these off at once. So I would just kind of grab all of them like this. And then I'll have them in my hand and I'll carefully bring these back to my table. And then um, I can use these to build. Now, when you bring these back to your table, it's important that you don't let them dry out. So I would wrap them. I would just like put some damp paper towel around your coils, stick them in your bag, wrap your bag around it, but make sure that they're easy to access. Okay, so um, when you're done rolling coils, we can't leave the extruder like this. So let me set my coils down. Okay, so when we're done with the extruder, the, the locking mechanism that I talked about that's over here needs to go to the upward position. And sometimes this gets stuck. If you're having a hard time pushing down or pulling up on the handle, Sometimes you just gotta wobble this a little bit and it should help. So if we want the handle to go up, we want the locking me mechanism to point upward. And then we're gonna do the same thing going up. So I'm gonna take this part of the handle, push it up, and then I'm gonna grab a little bit closer to the extruder here and I'm gonna push, push up, okay, until the whole thing comes out. I'm gonna pull the handle over here let it hook onto this hook that I have. And then you're gonna make sure that you clean off this part of the extruder. And then as long as there's more people that are, um, that are gonna extrude coils, we can leave that clay down there. Um, at the end of class, I'll wrap this with like a plastic bag so the clay doesn't dry out. And we'll just kind of keep this going um, throughout the project. Um, if you're struggling, if the clay's not coming out well, or if it feels like it's bone dry, um, or if we're done, let's say, with the project, we would um, undo this bottom part, okay? And you're going to see that the clay is stuck in there. I don't know if you can see that that's hanging out. So um, if I were adding more clay in, I would just let that kind of build in up on top. If I'm not then I wanna to try to get the clay out of the extruder so it doesn't dry in there. Um, and either stick your hand on the top, oh, there it comes, or you could use the plunger to push that through, okay? Um, we then make sure that we scrape the inside of the extruder. So I have a um, just a scraping tool that hangs right here next to the extruder. Set this down. And you could kind of go in here. There's some clay that kind of got stuck down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna scrape that out, clean it up so that I don't get a bunch of bone dry clay inside there. Now really the only time you would have to do this um, is if you're having trouble, if the extruder's not working well, if it's kind of jammed up, or if the clay is starting to dry out. Okay. And then one last thing, we're gonna to try to be aware that um, we don't wanna leave clay on the floor here. So if your coil falls or if you drop clay on the floor here, if you could please make sure you pick it up and just put it in the garbage so that way um, we don't get bone dry clay all over the floor. So that's it, this is the extruder. It's gonna help you to make coils. It's gonna make um, building coil pots a whole lot easier.